So of course I go undefeated, 5-0 to be exact, at locals today. And of course, as soon as I walk into locals, the ban list drops. If you didn't see that previous video, be sure to go check it out. But let's have a proper discussion about this insane ban list. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Now I can give a proper intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living ban list boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button, as well as that ding-dong notification bell, so we can climb even higher, the 1100, almost 1200 ladder. We're only seven subs away, ladies and gentlemen. When I hit 1200 subscribers, I will shave my chest hair. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to shave my luscious abs, <laughs> or lack thereof, maybe a six-pack beer abs. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because the balance dropped and we went undefeated at Locals today. Um, I wouldn't have a proper balance discussion since I sort of put out a quick video while I was at Locals. Like, hey guys, here's the balance. Couldn't even put in a fucking thumbnail. So <laughs> anyway, I want to talk about this ban list proper this list, I was really not expecting to get one so soon. I was thinking that maybe we're, we were going to kind of go into June and then get a new list, like maybe mid-June, you know, get through the national season, get through the YCSs, and since there's one happening right now this weekend in Philly that has just become completely irrelevant, and then sort of go from there. But no, Konami decided to kind of hit things and put them in check, and really, overall, I feel that this ban list is really meant to be pushing people to play the new Synchro stuff. You know, we've got the Jack Atlas structure deck coming out. We've got uh, Duelist Nexus coming out in like just, I think two months, right? Yeah, about a month and a half or so because the day is the 27th of May, the day that the list dropped. And so that has a lot of Synchro stuff in it. They want you to play Synchro stuff. And I think that that makes sense based on the things that they brought back and the things that they hit. So starting off with the bands, Cyberstein is banned once again. R.I.P. Cyberstein. This is now the second card that has been brought off of the ban list in recent memory that I can think of and has been rebanned. If you remember back in Necroz Tier 0 format, Snatch Steel came off the ban list for one format and then it got banned again. Cyberstein was around for a few formats and now it's been banned again. I can't think of any card that came off the list and then got banned again like Cyberstein and Snatch Steel. Cyberstein, though, was banned, I feel, because of the fact that there was that super heavy samurai FTK deck running around. And so because of that, they were like, look, we need to take Cyberstein back out back and shoot it in the nuts. It's a damn shame to see Cyberstein go. Hopefully we'll see Cyberstein come back to one eventually. Uh, and then next up here is Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. Really surprises me that they hit Super Heavy Samurai so quick. Like if I remember correctly, Scarecrow's been out for a while. So technically that card has been, been, out, been, has been out for some time, if I could talk today. But like... I was talking with people locals today and a lot of people are like super heavy samurai is really not a scary deck anymore because the usual line of play was you'd play your 40 monsters you'd summon soul piercer you link off into the scarecrow then you soul piercer to search your wakushi and you have full combo now you're forced to open up the wakushi with basically no other way to get to it other than opening it unless you're somehow able to get your soul piercer into the grave on your first turn and you can't play any spells or traps in super heavy samurai so maybe we'll see it be played as a sub engine and be played with something else but damn uh scarecrow getting banned is that's a really big hit to super heavy samurai and i don't think we're gonna see the deck do much more next up here is a uh, diabolsis being banned that's not a shock um something else that i want to say though too real quick about scarecrow you know they just gave super heavy samurai new support why would they suddenly kneecap the deck like this when they just got the support. I've never seen something like this before. Maybe because this is sort of like an emergency ban list. I don't think it's really seen as something like that, but it's really weird to see decks getting hit so soon. Cash Tira makes sense. Like Diabolsis has been out. Cash Tira has been out for a while. Yeah, you got to hit the deck. Diabolsis was completely toxic for the meta. Next up here, a pointer of the Red Lotus and branded expulsion is banned. A pointer was a side deck card that was played in some things, but like, I guess. And then branded expulsion is just like, why? Like that does fucking nothing to branded because they can just make the sanctifier dragon and move on with their day. I guess. Konami's trying to say, we took care of the problem. <laughs> uh, let's see. So to one, we have blaster. We've got the soul burner pack, fire support, whatever coming out. It makes sense that blaster's back, which... All of the dragon rulers are now at one, 
except for Red Ox. Red Ox is still banned, and I would argue that Red Ox is still the best one. It's a fucking monster reborn. Like, I think you would see Therion Earth Machine decks instantly become tier one if that came back to one. But all the baby dragons are still at three. Super Rejuve is at three. Could we see a Dragon Ruler deck with three Dragon Rulers come on in and start tapping that ass again like it's 2013? I don't know. Now, could we see a blaster like Collector's Rare in the Soul Burner pack? Maybe. Uh, that would definitely make your boy hard. But it's cool to see Blaster back. I still don't think Red Ox has ever come back. The moment that Red Ox, though, comes off the ban list and is at one, you're going to see a shit ton of people try and play Dragon Ruler decks again, and it's going to be insane. Math Max Circular to one. So you, our homie Valley D, he texts your boy and he goes, you know, I was thinking about building a, uh, a Math Mech deck for the Boca Raton region on June 10th. Then the ban list dropped and Circular is at one. <laughs> Fuck Math Mech. That deck needed to be hit. It had so much consistency with three circular, being able to get to that super factorial and just start ripping stuff out of the opponent's board all over the place like a fucking Trishula. No, Math Mech needed to be hit. I'm so sick of Math Mech. Uh, Cyphering Gear Gamma to one. Like I said in my previous banless video, we saw this in the OCG. Um, it, it's, it's honestly garbage now. Like, are you really gonna play one Gamma and one Driver? I mean, there, there's no point. There's really no point. Uh, no, we're, we're not playing Gamma. I'm, I'm side decking a Gamma package. We're not doing that no more. Um, it also, though, makes the point that I was making before, like a year ago with Ash, hand traps have really gotten out of control. You've got Ash, Ghost Bell, uh, all of the Ghost Sisters, Ghost Ogre, you've got Gamma, you've got Droll, you have Imperm, you have all these things. It's really getting out of hand. And I think reeling it in, especially because Gamma is so multi-purpose, if you keep it in your deck and you go first, when you bring out the driver, now you have access to a level eight synchro and then you can make Excel synchro, Excel synchro, get the Gamma, and then you're off to the races. That's still possible, but you only got one copy. So I, I, it makes me wonder if we'll see decks or rather if we'll see hand traps get hit more in the future. I, I could see it. Dang Long, first of the Yang Zing. I don't know what's going to happen with this. People wanted this back for so long. Um, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, cool. They obviously want you to play synchro-based stuff. Hence, you know, Duelist Nexus being a synchro-based uh, set. And then a Rise Heart to one. Yeah, it's, it's a hit to cash Tira along with Unicorn being at two. Um, yeah, once you lose that one Arise Heart, you are screwed. Um, and then purely Delicious Memory and Naturia Sacred Tree to one. So Delicious Memory, a lot of people were asking me this today at Locals. It hurts Purely's ability to OTK, and it almost makes it pointless to play more than one plump because the only way you're going to be able to abuse multiple plumps is if, like, you make Noir and then detach the one of Delicious Memory to bounce something and then bring out another Purely to get it from Grave, say, like, Lily, and make another plump. I'm going to have to mess around and see if I only want to play one plump or two, but... Purely Delicious Memory isn't the worst hit in the world. The deck is still really good. I just hate that this ban list goes into effect right before my damn regional on June 10th. Uh, and then Naturia Sacred Tree makes sense because, you know, being able to search off of that multiple times is horse shit. Uh, and then next up for the twos, we've got Herald of Orange Light to two. It really doesn't matter. I mean, I think Herald of Orange Light at this point could come back to three. Unicorn to two. I don't really feel like that's a good enough hit to cash Tira. Lightning Storm to two is just sort of like, why? Like, that thing's a hard once per turn. Like, yeah, you can get it with Thrust, but you could also get fucking evenly matched with Thrust. Like, I'm literally, uh, my, my side deck was already kind of like, it's still being tested. Um, but I'm just cutting the whole Cyframe gear package. I'm taking out a pointer. I'm playing three evenly matched now. Like, I don't give a damn. Y you literally, if you want to play three Lightning Storm, you play two Lightning Storm and a Feather Duster. There you go. You fix the one of Lightning Storm issue. Runic Fountains at two. This does nothing because a lot of builds were starting to move to just two fountain because three could be a bit bricky. And with Triple Hugin, you're basically playing five copies of Fountain anyway. So Fountain to two literally doesn't do shit. Uh, Engaged to two. Like I said in my previous video, we saw this in the policy documents. They gave an example with player A has two Engage in their hand. People were like, we getting Engage at two? Yeah, you can you'll engage it too, Sugar Boo Bear. Uh, and then we have Sprite Starter at two. Sprite's still going to be a busted deck. I'm calling that shit now. And then to three, we have Steam the Cloak. More Tuner slash Blackwing support. Blackwings are still garbage. Don't get your jimmies in a, in a hissy. Like, the, the deck is still bad. 
Birdman from 1 to 3. Gallus the Star Beast OTK is hot garbage in 2023. And that Divine Wind of Mist Valley card still at 1. Even then, trying to build an FTK with that in 2023 is garbage. Um, spiral Quick Fix, the deck is still garbage. Um, they don't have Master Plan back. You could put everything at Spiral at 3. And if Master Plan is banned, the deck is garbage. People are going to try and play it. But you just ash the shit out of the Double Helix and they lose. Uh, let's see. Recital Starling at 3. Doesn't matter. Draco face off pendulum support doesn't matter. Mecha modules multi roll again doesn't fucking matter. People are gonna try and play striker. I think it's gonna be a much better rogue deck moving forward. But overall, I honestly don't feel like this list does a whole lot to the current format. Cash Tira is still a very playable deck. You have a couple extra flex spots now. You can't rip stuff out of the extra deck as much as you normally would because of Diabolsis. But you still have other things that you can do. You know, just ending on a Rise Heart isn't necessarily a bad play. Super Heavy Samurai, I think, got hurt the worst. I think that we will literally see that deck not be played anymore. Um, because the link was just so crucial being able to extend your plays. There's no way to recover from that now. Uh, you have to hard open the things that you need. And I think people just aren't going to do that. Or they're going to play it in like a sub engine with, you know, something else. Um, purely is still very playable. Sky Striker become, became more playable. Uh, Sprite is still very playable. Runic, still very playable. Nichuria Runic, I would argue, is still very playable. Even with just one Sacred Tree, they might lose a little bit of consistency. Uh, I don't know what to say about this list other than like, congrats, Konami. You threw a bunch of darts at the dartboard and you kind of hit some stuff? Like, I guess? Uh, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's... It's a cool list. I hate the delicious memories at one, but it basically makes room for Duelist Nexus. That's kind of how I see this list. And it cleans up a couple of issues. It's a good list. I just don't think it really hit all the right things. I'm just kind of sitting here like, okay, cool. Uh, when When's the next ban list? You know, like that sounds weird to say, but it's the truth. It's a good list. I just don't really know what it does. <laughs> like, we're going to have to wait and see what happens, obviously. But I think if you weren't a super heavy samurai player, I think you got off scot-free. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure you've got the notification bell turned on on the channel because we're doing a market watch, tier list, deck profile. We're doing a bunch of stuff tonight. So be sure to keep it locked in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.